All right, how we doing there? I just thought I'd make this video and on the last video where I had the plane outside when I had just rolled it out of the paint booth from putting the birthmarks there on each side, the lightning bolts and you know, the boot cow and all that kind of stuff there, what are getting all that painted. I rode her outside and you know, as I was bringing it over here on this side of the shop and I was like, well, let me make a video and just show the beauty of this AirTech paint, man. I mean, it is just unbelievable. And, you know, especially once you get it out in that sun, I mean, beautiful. If you've seen the video before this one, then you know what I'm talking about. I mean, this thing is slick as glass. And uh, the black, I couldn't have asked for any better. What I'd done was I ended up taking her off the landing gear and putting it back on the rotisserie. And it took a little more time and, you know, a little aggravating stuff, but hey, it turned out better than anything by doing that. And the dash, I hadn't, it ain't bolted in or nothing like that. The panel there, I just got it setting up there and, uh, I'll just give you a little a lot of people's like man you're gonna hate that the glare is gonna kill you you know that was supposed to be you know they wasn't they wasn't gloss black well you know it depends on what year your cub is you know the pre-war cubs came with a wrinkle finish kind of a you know satin black wrinkle finish about like this leather seat right here and post-war cubs they were gloss black but now yeah they wasn't this gloss they i mean this is like a a super high gloss and uh you know and that's just the beauty of this paint and you know if you want your plane to look good then i suggest you paint it with some i mean all of them looks good don't get me wrong but air tech paint is you know just phenomenal man i mean it is some good stuff and uh i had shot my step bar right there with some different gloss black I don't know, a long time back, and, you know, after shooting this AirTech Black, I was like, you know, I'm pulling that baby there back off, and I stripped it back down to the primer, and we put it in there in the booth, and we shot it with this high-gloss black paint, and, yeah, I'm filming this here with my iPad, but as you can see, it's got a little dust there on it and stuff, little specks or whatnot. But anyways, what I was going to talk about here today is I, I realized yesterday whenever I pulled this thing here outside that I've never really talked about. I've had people ask, you know, what, what type of paint gun air do you use? And, you know, how do you mix the paint? How much reducer do you put in your paint? And all this and all that. So I figured, you know, I said, well, heck, man, I'll just make a video on that. And then uh, my buddy Robbie over at AirTech, uh, it's kind of funny because I was thinking, you know, of making a video yesterday talking about this. And then, you know, he was just made a comment or something to somebody saying that he was going to, you know, make a video on talking about what paint guns there they use, which they use different guns than what I use. And uh, as you can see, I mean, the sticker there, I use SADA and uh, not sponsored or nothing like that by, them, by no means. It'd be nice because these guns ain't cheap. They're anywhere from 600 to $1,000 a piece. And uh, for these good guns, and I use the SADA 5500X jet and uh, 1.3i tail pair on it. And I'll show you that here in just a second. But I was just, you know, gonna, you know, give you some little images right here of this paint job. And, and uh, this side over here, she turned out just as good and slick. But uh, anyways, we'll go over here to the other side and I still got to do some more polishing here on my firewall and I got to drill the holes there out where the throttle cable and the uh, fuel line and all that other stuff there comes out. So anyways, we'll jump on over here to the other side of the shop where I mix paint and all that kind of stuff and I'll talk about the gun here I use and we'll get on from there. All right, I'm over here on the other side of the shop here where I mix paint and all that other good happy stuff here. And uh, if you've seen any of my other videos or whatever on my airline system, uh, this is kind of the setup here that I've got. 
and I've got videos on there, you know, talking about the compressor and, you know, shows you what compressor I use, these water trap, moisture traps and air dryers and all this kind of stuff. And so anyways, uh, what it is, I, I use the SADA 5500. And I got this gun here from a buddy of mine. This is the SADA 5500 Jet, or the Jet X 5500 HVLP gun. And this is what I use to put that slick shine on an airplane. It's, you know, yeah, guns, I used these two little cheap Husky Home Depot guns. They're like 1.4 tip. And, uh, you know, that's what I, I used spraying for a long time. And they, I mean, they work good. I mean, it's a cheap gun. They work great. Never really had a problem out of them, but going from that to this is like going from a Volkswagen to a Ferrari. I mean, it's like totally different, man. I mean, these guns right here and a Wada, uh, let's see here, Segola, and those are, I mean, excellent guns, but this is what I like you know, what I use here, whatever, and these little Develbus, uh Whirlwind air filters, to me, the Develbus ones there, I've used, you know, those little red ones sitting up there on my little rack right there, and they work good too, you know, but to me, I like these Develbus Whirlwind filters, but what, how I mix the paint, I mean, with AirTech paint, you, you know, I mean, Robbie, they send you out these colored colored charts. They're different pieces of paper. They're different colors. It tells you, you know, like oranges for, you know, uh, like a regular paint, and then the blue would be for, you know, epoxy paint. The other one's for this, and the metal prime, whatever. But anyways, I mix the paint. On the direction there, it says three to one up to a half part reducer. Well, from the get-go, I've used three to one to one. And these cups here that I that I use, uh, I just, I mean, these are good cups. And the first problem I had of them, they uh, got them off of Amazon. Like, you know, a lot of other people already get stuff, and they've got different ratio mixes here on them. And uh, Robbie and them, they use, a, you know, a little different cup. I think they use these, uh, he sent me some there the other day whenever I ordered some paint. And these are good cups here. They've got, you know, a little different setup as far as, you know, you, your ratios and stuff there on them. But uh, anyways, uh, but I, I just mix it three to one to one. And, you know, I stir it up real good. And it goes on like glass, man. It works out great. But, you know, setting up a gun... With, with this paint here, how I got my gun set, now I, I, I do have a regulator over here on the wall, and then I've got a digital regulator that I bought and works, I mean, works good. Just a little push button there, and you adjust it here on the side. I got this here off of Amazon for 30 bucks, I think, or something. But what I do is I just connect it onto the end of the gun and use it that way. Or I just back my pressure right here down to about 80 pounds on the wall. By the time it gets out to this 25-foot hose inside the paint booth, you know, you're not pulling the whole 80. But anyways, what I do is I, I adjust my gun. This is where you adjust the air pressure. If it's going completely horizontal, it is off. And I just barely got it cracked, like maybe a quarter of the way open or something. And this is your needle adjustment. And I run about one and a quarter to one and a half turns out. And my fan, you know, it just depends. Uh, you know, air pressure and all that, you know, a lot of people say you run your fan wide open and, you know, one turn out, you know, but to get that fan pattern just right to where that paint it, it, I mean, it's just, it's an art to it, and I ain't fully got it conquered, but, you know, I've, I've painted cars in the past in my years, and all this and that, and it's total different, uh, paint that you're spraying, but anyways, uh, but that's what, that's, you know, what I use 
and I just wanted to make a video on that. And in the previous videos, I've had some comments and, you know, people, you know, thinking that I'm saying that this AirTech pain is way higher than any other pain out there. And, you know, it's just way expensive. No, I'm not. I've never said that AirTech paint is a lot more expensive or, you know, a, a way more expensive paint. You know, any aircraft paint is expensive. Bottom line, I don't care what kind of aircraft paint it is. If it's polyfiber or, you know, uh, consolidated or whoever, whatever, I mean, it's, they, no paint's cheap. But the comments there that I've made whenever I've talked about, you know, you want to be careful. You want to make sure you get everything cleaned and tacked and just right where you ain't got no trash. So you don't have to go back and redo it because this paint's too expensive to, to screw up on an easy mistake that could have been caught, you know, sooner as far as in prepping. So that's what I've, you know, and I should have said at the end, but I just didn't. It didn't dawn on me. I mean, I was just saying, you know, this paint's too expensive to screw up something, you know. So, but anyway, I just wanted to clear that up. And, you know, AirTech Air paint is, I tell you, I, I myself, on anything I got, I will never use nothing but AirTech paint. From here on, that's how much I like it, how good it sprays. I just love it because you use the same paint on the metal, the fabric, and everything. And, you know, you, you get in there and let her eat. You know, you don't have to worry about masking off the metal parts and spraying just your fabric or doing this or doing that. And so, anyway, I'm rambling, but, uh, but that's what I wanted to show you what I use here to get a good slick glass finish. And if you hadn't already, be sure to hit that like button, the subscribe button, and the little notification bell. So that way you can get updates on every video that we throw out there of the cub. And anyways, we'll see you on the next video.